I like to be thought of as a nice person. I like to please people, but I'm probably not quite as nice as, as, as people assume I am. There's, I've got a dark streak in Breaking Bad as a great example, and a lot of stuff I did on the X-Files is, is pretty dark indeed, and it obviously it comes from somewhere. I find is to, to be able to exercise it onto the page. There's a wonderful quote by one of the great French authors, and I can never think of who said it. It's something along the lines of, be orderly in your life so that you may be, you know, violent and, and, and chaotic in your writing or something something like that. It just, you know, live your life in an orderly, orderly fashion and, and put all the craziness on the page. I suppose that if I did not do this job, I would be less uh, nice. <laughs> the violence is always kind of a byproduct on our show. We, we don't go looking to make, to come up with a violent scene. It's just, that's the world Walter White has put himself into, and it's one of the unfortunate realities of it. It contains those kind of moments. My management style was a bit haphazard in the beginning. I, I'd never done this job. I guess I just approached it in the sense of, how do you get everybody invested in the, in the job at hand, in the story at hand? And, and I think it starts, from a, from a writer's point of view, it starts with having a safe room where there is no such thing as a bad idea. I like it when it's a little more nurturing, where you say, it sort of became a running joke in the writer's room when I'd say, well, that's an interesting idea. And everybody said, well, that means he hates it. And it really honestly meant, well, I don't get it at first, but maybe it's gonna lead to something better. So having a safe room always seemed like a good starting point for me.